praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole four elect scattered abroad. And the true name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, meaning He is. Who this word only calls God, and the true name for his only begotten son is Yahweh Shah, meaning he saves, he delivers. Who this word only calls Jesus, Bahashim in the name, and Rakah Kwadash in the Holy Spirit. I'm the brother, I am the brother you want to coming from the great millstone salt. Great millstone was palm back with another lesson, and I pray that this lesson is edifying. And through the spirit, you know, I was meditating, you know, upon this scripture. Um, you know, and I'm gonna read it, you know, but you know, the reason, you know. That I was meditating on this precept is because you know the beloved brother Gabar made a, a lesson. You know, um, there's no turning back. Remember Lot's wife, and through the spirit, you know, I was meditating on that. You know, throughout the day, because you know, one thing about Jake and Babylon, they you know they hold to their possessions. You know, they hold to their money, they hold to their cars, they hold to their house, they clothes, you know, materialistic items. All right. And the reason why Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt is because she looked back. And the reason why she looked back is because she had many um, she had many great possessions in Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. And, and, and that's the spirit of our people back here today. All right. Two thirds of our people. Uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans and the majority of them, two thirds of them you know are content here in babylon all right you know our people you know for say they had made a quote-unquote good life here you know they quote-unquote lived the american or babylonian dream our, our people don't want to forsake everything that they have and serve the lord right but um i believe in matthew um matthew the 10th chapter you know it speaks about if a man doesn't deny himself man all right. You know, if he doesn't deny himself, he cannot follow or he's not worthy. All right. Of Yahweh Shah. All right. And, and, and denying, you, denying yourself first and foremost is a hey, de denying your flesh, man. Denying what you want to do. All right. We understand that and we're doing the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah. And not only that, and hey, this is his movie. All right. And we're all playing the roles which he had, which he gave to us. OK, but the majority of our people want to hold on to their possessions here in America, and that's going to lead to their destruction. All right. And I want to just grab this quick precept. Uh, all right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse nine. And it reads for ye are not as yet come to your to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord, your power, give it to you. You see, so, you know, like I says in Baruch, we are yet this day in our captivity and we still in captivity, man. All right. We're still, you know, in, in Egypt. All right. You know, you know, we're still being bonded to this man. All right. Even though we know Isaiah, the 10th chapter says, you know, he shall no longer stay upon him that smote him, speaking about Esau, Edom. So, and we spiritually and mentally departed from this place, and, but we're still in captivity, okay? But it says what? Like the verse says, for ye are not as yet come to the rest and, and to the inheritance, which Yahweh Bashim al Shah is about to give to us. So, meaning that we're not in the kingdom yet, all right? Everything, you know, which we see or everything that you quote unquote work for so far in your life is all really in vain and it's vanity. Right, because um, in this same, um, let me go back to Matthew the 19th chapter. But in this same, uh, in that same chapter, you know, it speaks about, and you know, let me go ahead and grab it. Right, uh, Matthew the uh, Matthew chapter 19 verse 28. Right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna grab it and then we can go back up. Abarat the Zah, Matthew chapter 19, verse 27, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all. You see? So the men are the disciples, uh, turned apostles that were following Yahweh Shah, even those that were, you know, following them back then. And they forsaken all, meaning they forsook everything that they had. And it's going to keep going into it. And it says, We have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, and the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, speaking about the kingdom of heaven which is going to be on earth, ye also shall sit 
upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel and everyone that has forsaken. Here's that word forsake again, man. And you know what? Um, let me let, let's get the blue letter on that word forsaken, man. OK. Let me get that word, you know, because hey, that word is coming back again. You see, you know, and. As the lesson goes on, you're going to see, you know, where we're going with it. All right. The forsake is the word. Strong's G863. I fear me. I fear me. I fear me. Okay. And it goes into send away to bid going away or depart of a husband divorcing his wife to send forth year up to expire, to let go, let alone, let be. To disregard, to leave, not to discuss now a topic of teachers, writers, speakers, to omit, neglect, to let go, give up a debt, forgive, to remit, you know, and it keeps going on. But you get the point, man. All right. And the point hey, forsake is going to 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 disregard, man. All right, so hey, the men that's following you, how Bashmal Shah has disregarded their life, not only the, the things that they had going on before coming into the truth, but they forsook the things which are important to them to follow after Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, you know, many brothers can contest to that, man. Before coming into the truth, they may have had mighty careers. You have brothers that were in the NBA, NFL, or music, whatever you, know, whatever the case may be, but they chose to. They chose are to serve Yahweh Bashmal Shah, like how it says, uh, Simon Peter sh straightway uh, dropped their nets and followed after the Lord, man. Hey, that goes to forsake, man. All right, you know, and that's what we have done through the Spirit and Power Yahweh Bashmal Shah, and we have forsaken all, man. Okay, but to go back to the verse, and it says, and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life you see even tells you that in the book of job man it tells you that job was blessed in his latter end than the beginning you okay because you have bashmal shah put job through trial and tribulation you see and that's what you have bashmal shah is doing with us brothers lord willing and we be found worthy lord willing we be a part of that number okay Hey, but Job didn't curse, you know, just like how it says in Job, the second chapter. All right. Curse the most high. Uh, let me see if I can grab that. All right. Job chapter two, verse nine. OK. And then said his wife unto him, does thou still remain thy integrity? Curse the most high and die. But what did Job say? But he said unto her. Thy speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. You see, so Job, hey, was a wise man. Job was a man of understanding. He understood that Yahweh Shah is balance. All right. It even tells you that in the book of Proverbs, a false balance is an abomination. All right, to Yahweh Bashmal Shah. All right, so hey, good and evil, those are all in the power of the Lord. It even tells you that in Isaiah, um, I believe that's Isaiah, the 45th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7 I form the light and create darkness. I create peace and create evil. I, the Lord, I, the Lord, do all these things. You see? So you have Bashmal Shah is dealing with the good and he's dealing with the bad. You know, you got these people walking around here, you know, giving all credit to who they ignorantly call Satan. You know, <laughs> like Satan is not a worker. You have Bashmal Shah. You know, even the, going back to Job's, it goes into that, man. How, is, how uh, Satan is doing uh, hey, the will of you have Bashmal Shah, whatever the Heavenly Father Hey, tells uh, Satan to do. That's what he does, man. He's a servant, okay? But, you know, going back to the point, you know, Matthew, the 19th chapter, you know, hey, we have forsaken all, man. All right? And, hey, you know, I lost my little train of thought. But Job was blessed in the latter end in his beginning. All right? Because what did he do? Hey, when he lost his children, when he lost his house, and he kept his integrity, all right? And he continued to serve Yahweh Basham al Shah, all right? And I'm gonna get the rest of that. Man, we're gonna get to the script uh the scripture that I wanted to grab. 
All right. Uh, Matthew 19, verse 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. You see, so hey, we're going to receive a hundredfold all right, for the sacrifices that we have made for Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Hey, but there's many people, you know, as many people out there that that may have money in the bank. There's many people out there that may be financially set up, you know, that may have cars, houses, and they're not going to give that up to serve the Lord, man, because they think that the their possessions are are valued more than this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we have been given from high. All right, and um, all right, I, this is where I, this is what I wanted. Um, this is what I wanted to get. All right, this is Matthew chapter 19 verse 17 or verse 16 and it reads and behold one came and said unto him good master what good what good thing shall i what good thing shall i do that i may that i may have eternal life that i may have eternal life and he said unto him why callest me thou good there is none good but one that is yahweh but if thou wilt enter into life keep the commandments right and he said unto him, which Yahweh shall said, thou shalt, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, all these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahweh shall said unto him, if thou will be, if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast. And give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. You see, so many people, <laughs> hey, many people don't want to receive things on the back end, man. Everybody want to receive things on the front end. You see, many, hey, I remember it was one dude on the highways and byways. He say, hey, y'all don't get paid for this. Y'all don't get paid for this. <laughs> hey, and the beloved brother Yeshua, you know, cut his ass up. We are getting paid for this, man. Yahweh Bashamal Shah. Hey, it tells you that hey, Yahweh Bashamal Shah is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. You see, all right, and the labor of love is doing this work, man. Serving him, keeping the commandments to the best of our abilities, going out on the highways and byways, man, and forsaking what we have on this life, man. Crazy. Okay, you know. And we're going to get, you know, Matthew the ninth chapter next, Lord willing. But when the young man heard that, but when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. You see? So that's what we see now, man. Oh, you know, Jay walk up, you know, the camp or hey, you, 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 you may know somebody that's trying to serve the Lord, but. You know, this could be in other things. Many Jake ain't ready to put down that that weed. Many Jakes ain't ready to put down that cigarette. They ain't ready to put down they uh they wicked ways, man, to serve you how about Shamal Shah. You see? So many men, you know, rather keep on to the things that they have, you know, on this side than receiving a hundredfold and and much treasure in the kingdom of heaven. In verse twenty uh verse twenty three. Then, then said he, how was shown to his disciples? Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of the Most High. When the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Yahweh shall beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with Yahweh Bashamal Shah all things are possible. All right, and it goes on to the verse, man, that we just read, man. You see? So the whole point is you, you may not receive anything on the front end right now. I mean, you are receiving. You able to continue to live, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes Jake be, you know, sometimes Jake be selfish. You know, uh, us having this ability to preach this word, us having the abilities to have limbs that work. All right. Eyes to see, you know, nose to smell, mouth to, you know, to taste, you know. You know, JB, you know, selfish, man. They don't think about the little things. You know, us even having life, man. Us to have a, a sound mind. You know, these are all things Jake should be appreciative of, man. All right, but Jake would rather, you know, receive things on the front end and then to receive it on the back end. And the back end is going to be a, the ultimate treasure. All right. And um, 
uh, another one, I, I, you know, I've been getting this through the spirit a lot. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. And it reads, and again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath and buyeth the field. Showing you that it, it ain't nothing that's compared to this truth, man. Or there's nothing that's compared, you know, what we are about to receive, man. Okay. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant seeking godly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into a sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew the shore and sat down and gathered the good into the vessels, but cast the bad away. Okay, so hey, it ain't nothing you can compare to this truth, man. <laughs> like the scriptures say, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field. When uh, the witch, when a man found, he hide it thereof. Uh, for John, read it again. Uh, he hide it the joy thereof. He, he hide it and for joy thereof, go up and sell all that he had and buy the field. You see, so there ain't nothing that's compared, man. Hey, once you, you know, once you receive this thing, you you you're supposed to forsake all that you have for this truth, man. Okay. And let me get grab Matthew the sixth chapter, uh, Matthew chapter six verse nineteen. Lay not for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where and where these break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. You see, so you want to store your treasures upon in heaven, man, because in the kingdom of heaven, hey, under Yahweh. What Yahweh Shah King David, a hey, Jake is gonna be ruling, man. All right, man. I hope, I hope is recording, man. Lord willing, this recording, you know. But hey, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shmuel Shah, you know, I wanted to come with this lesson, man. You know, I pray that this lesson was edifying. All right, and you know, through the spirit. All right, you know, even though we're not receiving. <laughs> even you know it's twofold even though we're not receiving monetary or any gain on this side right now all right hey but yeah how about you my like the scripture said it's not unrighteous to forget your labor and love man all right many jakes don't want to sacrifice many jakes don't want to give up everything right now for the things that are about to come but hey us brothers lord willing we be a part of that number we understand that hey our treasure is in heaven all right, and we understand many rich men aren't gonna get this truth, man. Many rich men aren't gonna bear their cross because hey, their kingdom is right here, all right, and that's why they're gonna have to be destroyed along with it, man. So, hey, Lord, uh, Lord willing, to the next time, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great mills on that Ruel, peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole full scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom, Ababa, Kwame Ashala, Shalom.